What's up, y'all? Tracy here, back with another game. This is a Let's Play that I've kind of wanted to do since for as long as I can remember on YouTube. Uh, I've played this game quite a few times all the way through, uh, so it won't be a blind Let's Play, though I'm sure I'll see stuff that I, that I missed, because I've always been kind of a casual gamer. I've never used a guide and like found every single secret, so I try and find every secret, but you know, I don't... I don't use like a guide or a walkthrough to figure out where every single secret is, so I'm sure I'll find some new stuff, and I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of stuff, because I think the last time I played this game was a couple years back at least. This game is for PlayStation 2, it came out in 2003 obviously, it says it right there. It's an underrated game. So many people haven't heard about it, and I genuinely love this game to pieces. It's on my top five list of favorite games. I love the story, I love the characters, I love the art, I love the concept of the entire game. I am going to have a section probably down below at like, I don't know where I'm going to put it, maybe above streams, maybe below streams, but this is going to be Let's Plays of games that I that are on my top list of favorite games of all time. Most of these will be PlayStation 2 roleplay games because PlayStation 2 is my system growing up and the game, like besides PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 for sure. Uh, I'll probably do Final Fantasy 8, Star Wars Until the End of Time, Suit Coden 3. I'm gonna do all of my favorites growing up. So yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've played a lot of these games, so let's get it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching me, even though I will not be doing this blind, but some of you guys might not have actually played these games. Some of these games weren't even popular when they came out. Like, a lot of people my age, 26, don't even know of some of these games. It's really difficult for me to find people that have played a lot of these games, so there's a good chance that you guys haven't heard of some of the games on my top list. Some of them have been remastered, remade, or are just, you know, classics, like Final Fantasy VIII, obviously. I'm excited. I will try not to spoil anything, even though I'm going into this not blind. I'll try not to spoil too much of the actual story, so that if you guys are watching it for the story, you can say, like, if you guys are watching it for the story as well, you can, like, be surprised by things that happen. Alright, let's go. I am fucking excited! It's been so long since I've played this game. These graphics were amazing for 2003. Like, Final Fantasy X came out around the same time, so it kind of overshadowed Arc the Lad, I feel like. But this is fucking beautiful. And Final Fantasy X's graphics were phenomenal. Way better than Ark the Lad, but these are still really good graphics for that time. Names won't really spoil anything, but that's that's Lilia. <gasps> Uh-oh. Run, bitch, run! That made me think it's Hallam from Soul Calibur. Lilia is my least favorite character in this game. Not that you guys- I don't know if you guys care, but Lilia is my least favorite character in this game. I'm so excited! It's been- it's been a while since I've played this game. I think this place is called U Bell. Can't be 100%. These graphics, though... I'm still- I still think they're amazing. I'm obviously- I'm clearly biased, but god, I love this game so fucking much. Here comes- All right. Ready? Fucking Karg. Let's go, Lloyd. I love Karg. Karg, you can do it. Alright. Let's begin. 
Oh, shit, fuck. Uh, Lloyd has like that classic scar to make it, to make him seem worn and old. God, I'm, I'm fangirling pretty hard. Damn. How's that? How's that? Uh, well done. Karga is hella sexy. Okay, let's get it. One thing I, yeah, the first battle, Karg. I love that this goes between not just, it's not just one main character that you play. I'm not gonna spoil who the other main character is if you guys haven't seen it, but. That was fantastic, Car. Really, really great. This is Paulette. She's my hoe. She clearly wants Karg's dick. Eh, what kind of person is so happy to see their father lose? But you certainly took me by surprise. You've improved so much and almost without me noticing. Ha ha! You don't think that you're just getting slower? You should be retiring as commander of the Defense Corp soon, shouldn't you? As soon as you're ready to protect this country, I'll be glad to hand it over. That's why I've been teaching you to handle a sword all these years. Ha ha! That's what you tell him, but you started practicing even harder ever since you knew you would be challenging Karg. She's like, bitch, please. As if you were trying to make sure you wouldn't lose. Paulette! You must address him as Lord Karg. Doesn't matter that you've been friends since you were both young. I'm always telling you not to be too familiar. Don't worry about it, bro. The monarchy was abolished ages ago now, and Paulette's a year older than me anyway. Damn, she's robbing that cradle. It doesn't matter whether the monarchy exists or not. Our responsibilities to protect the royal family of Nidelia doesn't change. Paulette, I hope you've been practicing like I told you. Father, of course I've been practicing. You're not as skilled as Lord Karg, even though it is your duty to protect him. That won't do! Okay, okay. Jesus, Dad. Commander, could I have a minute? Something's been troubling me. Hmm, what's up, Banjo? And Kazooie. I wonder what's happened. Let's go and find out. Okay. Ah! Okay, let's do it. Lloyd is listening carefully to Banjo. Ah, Lord Cog. I was just telling Commander Lloyd, a short while ago I saw a suspicious old man on Scrappe Plateau. Suspicious? Yes. He wasn't from this country. He was muttering to himself and seemed to be wandering around looking for something. He was pretty creepy, so I didn't speak to him. <laughs> he was pretty creepy, so I didn't speak to him. But it's been worrying me. He is, he's a creep. He was, he was fapping to fucking little children out there, but I didn't bother to stop him. I can't imagine there's anything around here he could be looking for. I'll go and take a look. One old man's not something to get the whole defense corpse out for. Hmm. Very well, we'll check it out. Thank you. It's not much, but maybe this money will help you prepare, Karg. 200G? Thanks, Lloyd. 
You're the man. Paulette, you go too. But don't get in Lord Karg's way. Dick. Okay. Right, I'll be getting back then. Okay, I'll come along with you then, Lord Karg. Hey, don't call me that. I feel so awkward when you're that formal. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. But, I really don't mind, you know. I'll call you Lord Karg if you like. You know you don't need to. Just because I'm the son of the old royal family, the people of Ubel all treat me with great care and respect. Yep, Ubel. Points for Tracy for being awesome or a huge geek that played this game a lot growing up. It's not that I don't appreciate it, but I'd like at least you to treat me normally. Hmm. Okay then, Karg. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. Shouldn't we let Lady Nafia know where we are going? Otherwise, she won't know where we are if something happens. She's at home, isn't she? I think so, but I don't think it's really necessary to tell my mother everything. <laughs> He's like, uh... Why would I need to tell my mom? How lame. The gates to the castle ruins is locked. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Before I go. I already know that's Nafia's house right there. See it? But let's look around a little bit. Who's this guy? Is this Banjo? No, middle-aged man. Hello, Lord Cog. How are you doing today? I'm having the young ones clean out the old tanks. These kids today sure have a lot to learn. I played this a lot growing up, but I want to get every single nook and cranny because I don't know. I don't think I ever did that. Like, where I talked to every single NPC or I, or I collected everything. Hey, aren't you done yet? Lord Karg's here, you know. Ah, Lord Karg. Oh no. I'm looking. I'm no good in high places, you know. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to you, bro. Oh, Banjo. Are you preparing to go to Scrape Plateau? Yes. Once you leave town, chances are you'll encounter monsters. Make sure you're prepared. Oh, I will. Welcome, Lord Karg. If you're here for an item or spirit stones, we have plenty. Hmm. Should probably buy a couple healing herbs. Yeah, why not? What do I have to lose? Throw a stone to minor... Oh, energy snack. Nerve stimulant. Sounds delicious. Oh, okay, that goes between... Okay, so I can buy for specific party members or for, for the whole party. Okay, that's all. How do I get out of here? Probably circle. Thank you for shopping. Please come again. Let's talk to this bro. Lord Cog, have you come to buy weapon parts too? I didn't really know how the weapon part system works, so I studied this chart. I think I've got a hang of it now. Would you like me to explain? Sure. If you've ever fought in a battle before, you know how important it is to have a weapon that suits you. People become attached to their weapons and don't want to part with a weapon they've grown accustomed to. Also, there aren't many people who can master all the different types of weapons out there, so buying new weapons isn't a good option. Very few people do it, but everyone wants to power up their favorite weapon. That's where weapon parts come in. Attaching weapon parts to your weapon can produce various results. For example, if you equipped your sword with gunpowder, Attacking an enemy would produce fire elemental damage. In other words, if you want to strengthen your weapons, you'll need weapon parts. Wow, you you just you explained that very well, not. Hello, Lord Karg. Nice to see you again. Are you here for weapon parts today? Or perhaps an accessory? Yeah, I can't afford any of this crap yet. But it would help. Well, it would lower my speed. 
Man, this game is so... This is a PS2 jewel that if you haven't played, I recommend it. It's actually, it's an insanely good game. Okay. Thank you. Come again. Oh, I will. I'll come all over her face. Let's go. 